Hi, welcome to Lonzo Public Library's Summer Reading Program Week 2. This is a video for teens, so if you're a pre-reader or a reader, you might want to go watch that video. Um, so, reminder that this year we're doing things a little different, differently. We are not having any in-person things. It's all these take-and-make packets. So we're going to take a quick run through what's going to be in your packet for Week 2. Uh, the theme this week is Make Believe in Storytelling. There's going to be a lot of things that really get those creative juices flowing. Um, so we're going to start with a graphic story starter. So I hope you are all familiar with Raina Telgemeier. She is fantastic. If you haven't read her graphic novels, I suggest you come to the library and check some out. So it's she started the story for you, and you get to finish it. So I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And then just for fun, it's would you survive the zombie apocalypse? The answer is I would survive a while, but not very long. And I didn't even ask about my ability to run, because frankly, if running is involved, I'm the first to go. And we've got some coloring. Today is awesome, which is a good way to start every day, right? And then this beautiful piece of art with a fairy girl and her fox friend. And then we are encouraging you to write a ghost story. So there's just some tips about how to do that. So if anybody wants to send me your spooky ghost story, I would love it. And then I'm just gonna talk through our art project. It's kind of an involved one this week. Um, we got it from the Hershorn Museum. So there is going to be a link on our website to their video and their instructions so they can really take you through it. But it's inspired by a real artist, a very talented man named Mark Bradford. And it's called Story Layers. So the idea is that you're going to pick, there's an example, you're gonna pick an image that has some emotional resonance. So maybe something cut out from the newspaper or print out one of your photographs, but just print it on regular paper. You don't want any thick paper because you're gonna tear it up. Um, and then you're going to put together some glue or some paste that you just make out of flour and water. And what you're going to do is you're, you're going to get a piece of cardstock. So you're going to take your cardstock and you're going to build up some layers of torn pieces of paper, and string, and newspaper, and clippings, and whatever you want. You're going to build up layers and make some textures. And then you are going to put your image on top, and then the really exciting part is you're going to tear away parts of it. So you're going to have different layers of images. It's going to be very cool. So I would love it if anybody who does this would share your creations with us on Facebook or Instagram or on our website. All right, we will see you in week three.